Hello everyone, it's Helen at Journaling Planet and this is my 100th YouTube video. I never thought I would get here. Because it's my 100th video, I'm going to be making you some postcards to give away. I have cut up the trashy masterboard that I made in the last video. I'll link to that below. It's made entirely from junk mail and junk mark making. And I'm going to put together some perhaps slightly up, offbeat, toony combinations on these postcards. In the one I showed you in the beginning, I've got Mickey Mouse eating a piece of candy floss and Roadrunner is looking as though he's going to take a lick of it. And I quite like mashing up different toony worlds in my work. In this one with Sylvester here, I've decided that he's got a bit of a new muse. Uh, he, he's maybe decided to take a break from Tweety and he's going to have a go at uh, eating Woodstock instead. And Woodstock doesn't really look as though he knows what's about to happen, but has a vague sense that it might not be good. <laughs> In each postcard, I'm making a little faux postal stamp because I have from this annual, this kind of Warner Brothers annual, I have these squares of Warner Brothers cartoons and they just fit nicely on a faux stamp. So in this case, I've got Porky Pig praying that Woodstock's going to be okay. <laughs> so I'm just rounding the corners there and I will ink around these and I will also go around each character with a little bit of uh, black pencil just to make them stand out a bit more. I really, really love playing around with toony characters like this. It reminds me of being a child and it reminds me of all the fun I used to take in art before I left it alone for a very long time because of, you know, people telling me I couldn't do it and uh, it wasn't going to make me any money, so why bother? You know, all that, all that kind of jazz. Uh, so it's nice to return to these characters that I used to draw when I was little and to think about them in new contexts. When it comes to the fact that it's my 100th YouTube video, I honestly never thought I would get here or that so many people would come along for the journey. I thought maybe my mother might watch a few of the videos, <laughs> but it was really just a way of sharing my enjoyment of this craft and connecting with other people who also enjoyed it. There are a couple of things I've learned making a hundred YouTube videos about what it's like making videos on YouTube. And for those of you who are interested, I'll just say that um, it's not a big money maker. Uh, it's certainly not one of those things that you're going to be able to make a few craft videos and retire on, if that's what you were thinking. I certainly don't do it for the money. It's um, really about connecting with people. And I'm pleased to report that the absolute vast majority of people are just lovely and so positive and uplifting. And there's only the very rare odd comment you get from maybe the art police or somebody who just dislikes the video for reasons that you have no idea about. Um, and, you know, you just let those people have their moment in the sun and <laughs> you keep on crafting. <laughs> And that is in any art you do, by the way. I mean, I have been a writer for many years and all I can say is that there will always be armchair critics. There will always be people telling you that what you're doing isn't as good as what they could do it, if only they did it, um, or that they do it better than you or whatever it might be. Um, but if you let that stop you, then that's a real shame because you're not giving a gift that you have to give to the world. And you're not giving a gift that you have to give to yourself as well. Oh, so in this one, <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn is trying to ask Tiana out on a date. I'm just explaining the narrative in case it's not clear. And she's like, hello, I date frogs, not fogs. I have a very puerile sense of humor. And in the postal stamp on this one, Bugs Bunny is like, <laughs> good luck, Foghorn. That's never going to happen. 
I don't know where I get these ideas that, you know, for these little narratives in my cards. I think it's just I'm a writer. So little things kind of pop up in my head, interactions between the characters. But it's a lot of fun sort of thinking them up. And I think it makes for a slightly more dynamic card as well, because there's actually some interaction going on and there's some fun being had, which I think makes a big difference to these kind of projects. Now, if you want to know how you get one of these postcards or get in the running for one of these postcards, then it's very simple. You just have to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then you've done that job. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, like this video and leave a comment below. It can be any comment at all. It can literally be a nice postcard if you like one of the postcards or whatever you want to write uh, or hi, I love crafting too. It doesn't have to be profound. It would just be nice to see some comments down below, see that people have connected with the video and then pick some people out at random using a random generator. There'll be three postcards given away. So in this card, Pluto is hoping to usurp Snoopy in the Peanuts universe. Uh, he sees somebody walking along and he thinks they probably like hanging out with dogs. And he's like, I'm going to be the new Snoopy. And uh, Porky in the postal stamp is trying to warn said Peanuts character uh, that Snoopy's throne is being challenged. <laughs> I'm not totally mad. I'm just sort of halfway there, honest. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you would like one of these postcards, please do subscribe, like and drop a comment below and you'll be in the running. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.